A new mural in Trumbull County puts a spotlight on the Packard automobile, thanks to a project by the Ohio History Connection. This is an important world accomplishment that happened right here. It's pretty cool that it gets to be celebrated in this way where everybody can kind of see it. We take a look at the new mural in flashback. Flashback is sponsored by Hickey Metal Fabrication. Driving down Center Street in Champion Township, you can now find a brand new piece of artwork painted onto the front of a barn. The image is a tribute to the legacy of the Packard automobile, as well as the Packard family. That legacy began with the opening of Packard Electric in 1890 and the Packard Motor Car Company nine years later. They built Packard cars there for four, four years, 1899 to 1903. Then it was moved to Detroit by a group of investors where it exploded as a car company. The Packard brothers then focused on Packard Electric more. They were the number two producer of incandescent light bulbs in the country at one time and one of the biggest employers in our county. Marianne Perinchak, director of the National Packard Museum in Warren, says the new mural will shed light on the county's automotive history. I think we're going to see a lot of people cruising by and looking at it, which is going to remind them of that legacy. The project is a collaboration between the Trumbull County Tourism Bureau, the National Packard Museum, the Trumbull County Historical Society, and the Ohio History Connection. The Packard Barn Mural is the eighth in the series commissioned by the state's history agency, says senior advisor Steve George. But we're doing these kinds of things around the state. We're doing them to showcase important Ohio accomplishments, Ohio people, Ohio inventions, Ohio symbols, things that people really ought to know about it. And the nice thing about painting them on the side of a barn, you can't miss it. The Packard family and the businesses that they started are really such a huge part of our identity here in Warren even today. Megan Reed, executive director of the Trumbull County Historical Society, says the city of Warren has an abundance of murals and public art. Seeing that artwork stretching further into the county could spur more people to learn about the area's history. Pieces like this, it's, it's an emotional reaction, right? Um, it's why art is so important to so many of us. You understand the history of the Packard family in many ways so much more by looking at a piece of art than hearing about it, right? Um, and it reaches so, much, so many more people in a different way. The mural at 973 Center Street in Champion Township was unveiled Friday morning. Trumbull County Tourism Bureau Executive Director Beth Codwiss Carmichael says the mural will bring attention not only to the area's history, but Trumbull County tourism as well. It gives people the opportunity when they come to Trumbull County to have a lot of different experiences and that's what we get excited about. All of the barn murals in the series are painted by Scott Hagen, also known as the barn artist. Well, I think in this series, this is probably one of my favorite ones uh, of the eight that we've done so far in the series. But those eight barns aren't the only ones he's painted. In fact, Hagen has been traveling the country painting barns for 22 years. I didn't really keep track of how many barns I've painted, but I'm guessing it's it's over the 500 mark. Uh, but it's been a joy. It's, it's been uh, something I'm really you know, become passionate about over the years even more every day. So it's something I really like to do. Although this barn does not look maybe like it on the exterior, its interior is at least 100 years old or maybe more. Don Fenstermaker is the owner of the barn selected for the mural, and he has a special connection to Packard. He worked for Packard Electric for 35 years, alongside his mother, wife, and about 20 other family members. We're honored to have this mural put on to represent our township, the city, our county, and the state of Ohio to uh, promote tourism. The barn projects are privately funded, with each costing just under $7,000. The Ohio History Connection already has plans for Hagen to paint more barns to add to the art collection. So we'll be doing more of these. We're going to do Warren Harding later this year, we hope. We can find a barn. And uh, we're going to do Sojourner Truth and her speech for women's equality down in Summit County, where she gave that speech a long time ago. Hickey Metal Fabrication, family owned and proudly based in Salem for 75 years. We have state-of-the-art equipment and are ready to handle your start-to-finish fabrication needs.